Hi guys. Hello, 大家好。我是木木，欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文。Hey guys, it's Ode. How are you guys doing? Okay, let me reply for our audience. We are good. Yeah, because you love me. Okay.、Uh, did you guys just listen to that song, the Bob Dylan song? It's knock knock knocking on the door. <laughs> of course, I heard about the song. It's so emotional. Do you love the song? I really like it. It's it's such a great song, and what makes it a great song is that Bob Dylan is、uh, such an amazing songwriter and such a great singer. <laughs> 对啊，毕竟他是获得过这个诺贝尔奖的男人。After all, he won the Nobel Prize. I cannot believe he won a Nobel Prize. Oh my God. Well, speaking of the song, 说到这首歌 ，I got a little bit confused about the lyrics.、Mm-hmm. 就是我不太确定他到底唱的是 knocking heaven's door 还是 knocking on the heaven's door, because you know there is a big difference between these two sentences. Yeah, for me as well. I、uh, first、mm. time I heard it, I thought it was he was saying knocking knocking heaven's door. Yeah, and that's completely wrong. Like let's say knocking on heaven's door means to just give slight、yeah. taps. You know, sound is it that、yeah. how we say it? To give it slight taps, you know, to warn the people inside the room that you want to come in or something like that. Some a polite, formal way. Ah,、uh, so this has a verb on. For example, this knock on means to knock on. So I know this knock at can also mean to knock on. What's the difference between the two phrases? There isn't any difference. Ah,、uh, knock at and knock on both can mean to knock on. There is a difference between knock at and knock on.、Uh, uh, you know, knock on and knock at is the same thing. But there's a difference between knock on and knocking on、uh, knocking heaven's door. <laughs> Get confused, right? Yeah, it's it's. So knock- without,、mm-hmm. I'm sorry. So without the preposition, the meaning will change. Yeah,、mm. knocking heaven's door means something else completely. <laughs> Do you know a SWAT team? Ah,、uh, its 全称就是 Special Weapons and Tactics. Yes,、yeah, SWAT. Special Weapons and Tactics. 反恐特警反恐特警反恐特警 So why you mention this? Let's say you're a drug dealer. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Let's say okay. The SWAT will knock the door. Knock the door. They will break the door. Break the door. Knock、uh, the door means you're gonna break the door. When someone tells you knock that door, knock the door, knock that door, <laughs> knock this door, something like that, that means you're breaking the door. Doesn't mean you're giving、uh, it slight taps. So, it is that we, if we add the word "on," directly say "knock the door," its meaning is completely different. Like Odi just mentioned, the SWAT team is going to knock the door. It means breaking 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 the door. The other two you just explained. Oh really?、Mm-hmm. Like like what? Can you give me an example of it? Of course, I can give you more than one. Whoa! So today, I want to share with you some knock related Hello, welcome to Morning English. Morning English is a free platform for you to receive free English education. Every day, we will be updating you. If you want to get more information about English, we will be updating you on this platform. Our goal is to help the world learn English all over the world. 如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So the first example on using knock is don't knock it until you try it. Don't knock it. What does that mean?、嗯、What does that mean? 就是我先用中文来解释一下，就是没有尝试之前，先不要下。This expression means don't judge something until you try it. Whoa, I've never. I'm like, so deep. Yeah, you you really gave me a word like don't knock it until you try it. Like, like don't knock cheese tea until you try it. Okay, you still don't let the cheese tea no, go. No, I'm never gonna let the cheese tea go. 好，就是没有尝这个 cheese tea 之前呢，欧弟是不会下任何定论的。But I still don't like it. You don't want to try it. I, I I'm still not into the idea of drinking cheese tea. But who knows? Oh yes, who knows? <laughs> 我们刚刚讲的第一个就是 don't knock it until you try it， 就是不尝试之前不要下定论，属于一个 slang， 对吧？ 
。嗯 ，slang， yeah。slang 这个词还有很多 verbal phrases. Now, can you guess the meaning of knocking someone up? Oh, I've heard this a lot in TV shows and movies. I already know what this means. This means to make someone pregnant, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, I didn't know this was a common phrase. It is such a common <laughs> phrase, and I think in America, but I think in TV shows and in、uh. movies, it's so common. Like, you might hear the phrase, "I'm gonna knock her up," or "He knocked me up," or something like that. It does not mean that he slapped her in the face so hard that. <laughs> Okay. She fainted. So in this American phrase, knock somebody up means to make someone pregnant. Just like Gao Dui said, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, it's in some American movies and TV shows. Yeah, the other meaning is, I will give you a sentence, and maybe、okay. maybe you can guess. All right. Okay. Hey, Mumu,、mm-hmm. would you mind knocking me up about at about five o'clock in the morning tomorrow? I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you think? <laughs> do you know what it even means? So it's just you wake me up at、yes. five o'clock. I never get up. At five o'clock. I didn't do so many. Ah, 对，所以 I I can't say that. But 刚刚 Odie 说啊，请你在明天早上五点钟敲门把我喊醒好吗？所以啊 ，knock somebody up 还有一个意思就是 wake somebody up. Yeah, but that's an uncommon phrase. If you hear a knock somebody up, and if he's talking in an American accent, that means he's gonna make you pregnant. <laughs> so please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> 对，大家用的时候要小心了，毕竟这两个意思差距还是挺大的。Okay. But let's back to the sentence. If you wake me up at five o'clock, if I you do this, then、mm-hmm. I will knock you out. Holy shit! Mum was like such serious face right <laughs> now. She's like seriously serious. I am serious person. But yeah, Mum, you just used the word or the phrase "knock you out." Knock you out. Can you explain what that means? Can you explain this phrase to me? All right, sure, sure. Knock you out means like if I'm gonna hit you、yeah. so hard. Let's say in the face that I'm gonna make you unconscious. You punch me so hard, right? Yeah, I punch you、face. so hard in the face, or I slap、mm-hmm. you, you know, whatever suits you. 就是很揍某人，就是 to knock somebody out, to、yeah. like、beat somebody. This phrase is so commonly used in boxing matches. Ah,、uh, 就是在打拳击的时候用的比较多 If someone hit someone so hard,、mm. you can say knock him out so hard. Yeah. So, for example, in the boxing match, you might say.、Mm. The boxer knocked out his opponent in the third round. <laughs> 对，比如说，在我们看拳击比赛的时候，这个裁判员可能就说，这个拳击手在第三轮击败了他的对手。这个 opponent 就是 rival. Yeah. The third round 就是第三轮 Yeah, that's so fast. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Then you should learn Chinese harder. 我的中文比你的中文好得多 Yeah, much better. Oh yeah, see right now.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. So this. Podcast is going well, full of information. What wood, do you think? Knock on wood. Excuse me. Knock on wood. Excuse me. Knock on wood is a phrase that's really common in the Middle East,、okay. or it's used. I think it's used also in Europe. It's used as a superstition. Ah,、uh, 就是很迷信的一种表达 superstition.、Yes. So when you're like something is suspiciously <laughs> going well, like this broadcast, it always goes like really bad. But sometimes, oh wow. Sometimes it really goes well. Okay. Then we say knock on wood. So you have to knock on wood, any wood that you find. To get you luck back. Yeah, you have to have three knocks. Ah,、oh, three knocks. And I heard Jack said this one day when he is coughing.、Uh-huh. We ask him, "Are you getting a cold?" He said, "I hope not. Knock on wood." And yeah. It means good luck, right? Yeah, that's that's how it's used. I'm、oh, I'm really surprised he knows it. So as I told you, it's really common in the Middle East, and it's already common in the year in Europe. 就是这个表达在中东啊和在欧洲都用的比较多 Now it's a common expression. Yeah, let, let's say if you're, you're, I'm gonna give you one phrase. I'm thinking you guys gonna love it.、Mm-hmm. Let's say you're going to an exam. You say, oh, this exam is going really well, and then you have to say, oh, knock on wood. You have to knock on wood. Even wish, if you wish us luck. Yeah, you should wish yourself luck, and you know it's、mm-hmm. really stupid, but it works sometimes. I think yeah, so. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. 
，虽然很迷信，但是呢，有些时候不得不说，好像还是有点作用的。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Wow, that's all for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed today's broadcast, and you know that I love you, and I think Mumu loves you as well. Thank you, guys, so much for listening our podcast. Yeah. I'm all day. 我是木木，下期见。拜拜。